Alright, let's begin. In my introduction, I will guide you with the basic precautions in upgrading to Firestar 2.4. The next three categories, I will be introducing the exciting new features in Firestar 2. After that, I will introduce the upcoming features in the next version of Firestar 2, which is version 2.4.1. Then I will end with a QA session to answer all the questions that you may have for today. The items you see on this slide are the features that I will be covering today. Some are major improvements while some are minor changes that will improve your experience with Biostar 2. Since there are many things to digest here today, I will summarize the items again at the end of the presentation after I have shared a brief explanation of all these features. After you install version 2.4, in order to use the fancy new features, you have to upgrade all your device's firmware to the most recent one. The updated firmware are included in your installation, so if you click on the device and click on firmware upgrade, the option to upgrade to the most recent firmware will be available. If you are curious what versions are the most recent version of firmware, please check the administrator's manual by clicking on the Help, Biostar 2 Overview, and Versions menu. That page will list all the new features and required firmware version to use the new features. Note that if you are upgrading from an old Biostar 2 version, you have to upgrade from 2.0 to 2.2.1, then to 2.3, and then to 2.4. You cannot upgrade from 2.0 to 2.4 in one step. In the preference menu, you now have the option to change the date format and time format to the one that you're most comfortable with locally. You can change the order of year, month, day, or the hour and minute to be displayed in your Biostar 2 menus. Biostar 2 provided the option of using Biomini as a USB fingerprint scanner but did not provide an option for cards. Now you can use DE620 to register users with MyFair cards, Deskfire, Velika, and NFC. For smart cards you can only read Deskfire and Deskfire EV1 cards and you cannot write them with the DE620 reader. Unfortunately, there isn't an option to read HID cards with a USB reader yet. <coughs> In Biostar 2.4 you can enhance the security between the server and Suprema device with TLS, which means Transport Layer Security. This new feature prevents malicious users from connecting to the device to retrieve the device information. If a malicious user tries to use a spoofing attack by connecting a device to the network with a Biostar 2 server IP, the device will not connect to the fake server IP because of the TLS security feature. This is how TLS works in Biostar 2. It is a certificate based authenticity check, which means that the server sends a root certificate to the device and the device sends the end user certificate to establish a secure connection with the server. From then on, the device will only connect to its server which has the matching certificate. If another Biostar 2 server with a different root certificate tries to connect to the device, the device refuses the new certificate because it already has one. You can configure the secure communication by going to setting server secure communication with device menu. We also provide the option to use external certificate from a certificate authority. 
and we also call this a CA. Some CA you may be familiar with would be VeriSign, Commodore, and GoDaddy. However, this is purely optional and you do not have to use external certificates if you prefer the default certificate of Biostar 2. If you are curious about TLS technology, please check Wikipedia for more details about how it works. Biostar 2 now supports Oracle Database. However, you should be aware that you cannot migrate over to an Oracle database through an upgrade. Only a new and custom installation is available, which means that we do not provide the installation of the actual Oracle database, and you have to have your accounts and databases set up in Oracle before you start the installation. Specific details will be included in the installation manual. Note that support for Oracle Database is only available for a 64-bit install and the Oracle client must be a 32-bit client. The custom level feature now has an advanced feature to pro provide custom privileges based on menus. You can apply read or edit privilege for specific groups such as user, device, door, and access groups. However, even if you apply specific user group or devices, the custom level operator with read or edit privilege on the monitoring tab will be able to see all the devices and logs. Hence the settings you make do not apply to the monitoring menu. The custom admin level for the monitoring page will be included in a future version such as Biostar 2.6. As you can see in the screenshot, you have the option to select specific custom user group, device group, and etc. and apply this new custom level to several users at once. The ID of users now allow number and special characters such as hyphens and underscore. However, you still cannot use the at sign and other special characters. BioLightNet, BioEntry Plus, BioEntry W do not support this feature. However, if you are switching over to an alphanumeric user ID type, this is not compatible with your previous user accounts, so you will have to delete all users in the server before proceeding to change the mode. Please read the warning pop-ups carefully. On the firmware side, there currently is a bug where the L2 and W2 will raise a pop-up saying device not supported. In that case, the temporary solution will be to click on the device and click Apply. It will refresh the device settings. Hotfix regarding this issue will be released at the end of this month. You can now have a third-party controller control the LED and sound output of a Suprema device when you are using the Suprema device as a vegan device. Note that only a master device can be configured for this feature and you can use the secure IO2 as slave for additional input. This feature is configured in the device trigger and action menu. On the add trigger and action tab of the device you can add the input from the controller which will trigger the Suprema device's access granted, access denied LD or a device sound. Note the differences for device without LCD. They provide LED and buzzer sound as well. A new hardware will be introduced with the introduction of Biostar 2.4. The OM120 
is a multiple output module which has 12 relays and two inputs. The main usage of the OM120 is for the new elevator feature. One elevator configuration in BioStar 2 can have a maximum of four readers and 16 OM120. Sixteen OM one hundred twenty with RS four eighty five daisy chain would mean that you can have a maximum of one hundred ninety two floors per elevator. You can create a maximum of one thousand elevators in BioStar two. The elevator also supports dual authentication, anti passback, and fire alarm zone. Moving on to the TNA features, we finally have the PDF report available for TNA. However, in some Chrome browsers, the PDF might not show properly if you open it within the browser. In that case, download the PDF to your PC and open it or open it open the PDF in Internet Explorer. The PDF report appears as a pop-up, so if you have a pop-up lock on, please disable that function to use this feature. You now have the option to configure the columns as required in TNA. You can change the order by dragging and dropping the column titles. Your changes will be applied in the PDF report as well. In the previous version of Biostar 2, you had to add a temporary schedule to each individual users. Now you can apply a temporary schedule for multiple users at once. Biostar 2 Mobile has a new convenient feature for users to check their own profile. If you click My Profile button, you can quickly access your user menu to check and change your account information. Now I will talk about the upcoming features in our next Biostar version. Face Station 2, which is our next line of face authentication scanner, will be released with 2.4.1. The new version of Face Station 2 is packed with new and improved features. I will mention some of the notable features. Compared to Face Station 1, it will have a recognition time that is three times faster. It will also have a computing power that is more than three times stronger, and it will allow an ambient light level that is five times more than Face Station 1. Higher allowable ambient light level means that you can install Face Station 2 in a much brighter environment now. You still cannot install it outdoors where direct sunlight hits the device, but you can install the device in a very bright environment. More detailed specifications of the device will be shared in our next 2.4.1 new feature webinar. Now I'll introduce some of the other features that are under development. Biostar 2.4.1 is aimed to be released in May, but the schedule may change based on unforeseen circumstances. And the schedule of included features may change as well, so please do not start any projects based on the information provided on these slides, but keep a note for your reference. Biostar 2.4.1 will allow video integration with Hikvision and Dahua IP cameras. The mobile app will allow you to use the phone to store credentials and read the credentials in your phone with the Suprema Devices NFC feature. One of the most popular relational database, Microsoft SQL Express will be supported in version 2.4.1. Additionally, there will be a boost in performance for the AC side of Vistar 2, 
which will be more evident in large sites with a lot of devices connected. Your BioStar 2 client page load speeds may double or more. I do not have the minute details for the features that will be included in the next version, but we will share them in our next new feature webinar. Finally, note that you can always find the new feature guide at our knowledge base. Please check them out if you need a reminder of the what the new features were for each version of Biostar 2. Let me show you where the link is. First you connect to the knowledge base. Change it to English if that's necessary. Go to the knowledge center. Go to fundamental. Biostar 2 features and there would be a new feature guide in a PDF file. 2.4 will be uploaded soon. We have already finished creating the document. So this is how it would look. I went through a lot of features that was introduced in a new version of Biostar 2 today, so you might not remember them all in your first glance. So I will summarize it for you right now. The new general features were the customizable date preference, card USB reader D620, TLS secure communication for device connection with server, and Oracle DB support for 64-bit hardware. The AC features included an enhanced custom operator, alphanumeric ID supporting up to 32 digits, device trigger and action feature for LED and sound control when integration with third-party controllers, elevator feature with our new hardware OM120. The new TNA feature was the PDF report, customizable column settings, batch edit of temporary schedule. The mobile app introduced a profile icon. The upcoming features for 2.4.1 included our new face scanner, PlayStation 2, video integration with Dahua and Hikvision, mobile app with mobile credential, Microsoft SQL support, and performance improvement in the AC module.